Uh... What's up, gamers? It's semifinals of the YCL. We're going up against Sven and his three electrons, and I'm really looking forward to this one. Uh, this is Sven. We battled him last season. He's very, very, very good. One of the best coaches in the world. And uh, I'm really excited for it because uh, if we win this, we're into the championship for the YCL, which is one of my big goals. And uh, it's it's not an easy path. We got to get through Sven. He brought the lick of tongue, which is very annoying. I was thinking Volabi made more sense. Uh, he didn't bring one of his big five. No Mian Xiao, which is nice. Uh, Torn Zera, Prim, I figured we're all coming. And then after that. Uh, it was up for variation, but uh, the Lickitung is here for our Spectre, of course. Uh, we can't do anything with Spectre until it's gone because it is a setup set because I was expecting Volibee, which is fine because we can always just go into Urshifu whenever, just double out, you know. Uh, I don't have a planned lead against this. Uh, Tyrantrum could be rocks off rip, that would make sense. Uh. What do we need? What do we use Wigglytuff for here? It's Fizz Def. Uh, we can use it as a Torrent Switch, and we can set up rocks immediately if we want to. Uh, but I do think I want to lead with Corve. I think that's pretty safe because we can just U-turn out on anything. I think Prim makes sense as a lead. Uh, I think Tyrager makes sense as a lead, and that's a pretty safe middle ground for us. Uh, good luck to Sven. Uh, it's not the team I really wanted to see. But I think we can work with it. Uh, Urshifu is going to be our main offensive threat here. And uh, his only resist is to Wicked Blow is the Primarina, which is really nice. But yeah, this is going to be a tough game, but uh, I'm really excited for it. Okay, yeah, Prim is the lead, so I'm just gonna flip or you turn out. He can flip turn out, but we have Rocky Helmet. And I think we underspeed. Uh no, we do not. That's annoying. Um I can taunt this just so that it can't uh set up a sub. I think that's what I want to do. Just because we are faster. Oh, we aren't faster. Okay. Ah, oh, the burn's inconvenient. Uh, we kind of need this for the Dragon Boy. But I don't think he expects us to stay in. I think he expects us to go straight into Lantern, so I will U-turn out. He did so again. That's fine. Not the start we wanted, but we do live. And that means this thing does have some speed. Don't know how much, but it does. And I'm going to go into uh, Lantern here. And Toxic is pretty free, because it is taunted, so it can't sub. He can go into Sloking here, I guess. But we can Volt Switch out on that. Uh, it depends on if he goes into Zera Aura or uh, the Sloking. I think Sloking is more likely. Oh, okay. That's even better. <laughs> I will absolutely take that. Because Urshifu gets to come in for free now. And I'm just going to Wicked Blow. Because nothing wants to take it. And I want to get as much damage as possible. This thing will live one Wicked Blow. But there's no way he stays in when I have the Spectre. Because he doesn't take two and he can't Wish Protect. It 
if we had gotten a toxic off on this thing, that would have been really nice. But also, I like the fact that we didn't have to take a knock off of anything. I like the lantern. Uh, what's the biggest problem now that Corbin is so low? It's probably the Tyranitrum, but we are scarfed on this thing, so we'll have speed and we can close combat it. Uh, getting chip on this is great. Uh, since he has speed, this might do half. Not quite enough. So I will just go into Lantern. I don't want to risk it, because this is our biggest form of offense by far. We could have gone into Wigglytuff to get rocks up, but uh, I'd rather not give Sloping free switch in when we have uh, our Corviknight so low. Because we can't even switch into like a Poison move because we died of the burn. He can obviously flip turn here and that'd be annoying, but I think it's okay. Okay, he moon blasted. That's fine. We're max fidef. This thing might be specs, honestly. That's doing a lot of damage. Uh, I do want to just volt switch again. I think that's the play. Uh, if he goes into uh, Zara Aura, we can deal with that. This is our torn check as well, which is... Uh, not great that we're taking chip, but I think it's okay. Okay, you did go into Zara this time. Uh, I'm just gonna go into Nido Queen. I'm okay with this because we still get some health, and uh, it's not like he can Volt Switch. I expect a knockoff here, which means we'd lose our Black Sludge, but I think that's okay. Uh, we are poison point, so if he does his... Oh, okay. I wish I'd kept this thing special now. <laughs> but, I mean, if we get any chip on this thing, then Urshifu kills it with a wicked blow, so it's not the worst case. Why do I have Stealth Rocks? This is supposed to be Toxic Spikes. Well, that was a mistake. We have to we have Stealth Rocks on Wicked Duff. I, I gen this set in at the very last second from the special set, so I could hit the Prim and the Slow King harder, but... Uh... I must have accidentally put Stealth Rocks on instead of Toxic Spikes, which is unfortunate because those would have been really nice. But like, he has this Slow King, so it could be worse. I think worst case scenario, he is able to... Oh, okay. I'm guessing he's Shucka then. We got the Poison Point, though. <laughs> we'll take it. And our Black Sludge is still intact. Yeah, he's Shucka. That makes sense. But yeah, we'll take another acrobatic even though it's doubled, and we should knock out with Earthquake. Uh, I don't really want to go for rocks here, although they look nice. Uh, I think it's better to just try and go for the kill. Yeah. Torn's probably coming in, but yeah, it wasn't worth the risk. Uh, I think he's going to be scared to go for like a knockoff or a U-turn just because we did show the poison point. So I think Lantern's okay to go into. Plot. Okay, that's also scary. Again, Urshifu outspeeds this as well. So if we can get some chip on it, then that's nice. Uh, I don't want to Toxic in case he's Substitute. So I think Volt Switch is probably our best bet. Ice Beam is also pretty safe. Uh, he can't do too much damage to us, honestly, uh, unless he's like Weakness Policy. But I think I do want to, uh... I think Volt Switch is the... No, I'm gonna Scald, or Ice Beam. I'm worried about Weakness Policy. Psychic? Yeah, that shouldn't do very much. Yeah, we take another one. Unless he's Weakness Policy, of course. 
He's not. Okay. So now I want to Volt Switch. He can go into Zara Aura again. That's fine. We can go back into Nido Queen. We know it's Bulk Up Acrobatics on the Zara Aura. We know this is Nasty Plot Psychic. Okay, he stayed in. That means we just go into Urshifu. Because this thing won't take uh, Wicked Blow, of course. He will find out we're Scarf now, but that's totally fine. Uh, also, he doesn't have anything that outspeeds this, because his two possible Scarfers that would outspeed it are Zero or and Torn, and uh, neither of them are Scarfed. So Urshifu looks really, really good here. We can just keep Wicked blowing every time uh, something happens. I expect like a Cobra on the Slow King, so we have to be careful about that, but besides that, Urshifu looks really, really scary for him. Because Prim can't switch in here. If we'd gotten rocks up when the Torn came in, we'd be really good. Because then Prim can't even, like, scare us out. Yeah, he wants to save this. That makes sense. Oh, it goes straight into this thing. Well, if it is Colber, then uh, it's not taking two. Yep. Which means we just go for another Wicked Blow. We have used 2 PP out of 8, so like, <laughs> we will run out eventually, but, I mean, <laughs> I'm not worried about that yet. But yeah, he really doesn't have Urshifu switch-ins. And if this thing goes down, and Torn is low enough that I think it goes down to two close combats maybe, so like, close combat also looks really good once this goes down. But again, Wicked Blow is just incredibly free. And nothing outspeeds us. Because I expect Tyrantrum to be Scarfed now. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. But like, we just sack off Corp to it regardless. Because even if he like, Dragon Dances, then we die to the burn and we get to go back into Urshifu. Okay, Slowking goes down. Sweet. I expect Prim to come in, and it might just knock out our Lantern, that might be what we do. Because again, it's not worth risking the Urshifu against it. And we can Poison Jab with our uh, Queen after Lantern goes down. Because his Slowking is done. Okay, yeah, this thing is Scarfed. But I'm just going to let Corbinite go down. Because then we come in and click close combat. Although if he locks into Earthquake, then Corbinite is our ground in Unity, which is unfortunate. So I could go into this. We'd probably take two Earthquakes, and uh, if it's Head Smash... No, we're just going to go into Corbinite. I feel like a burn does 7 HP, but if not any Earthquakes, then great. Ah, oh, he just Stealth Rocks. Okay. Annoying, but that's fine. He still could be Scarf. I know he's run Scarf Stealth Rocks before, so, but also our equipment wasn't getting back in anyway, so it's okay. And I want to go with Tough now and get my own Rocks up. Or I can knock off. Oh, he's chopped. Okay, good to know. Um, I think rocks are nice, but so is knock off, and I think knock off is better because we can set up rocks with the needle queen after all. And Torn probably has boots, so if Torn comes in and we knock it off, then we set up the rocks.
Let me see how much we do to this thing with Urshifu. Because we know it's not Scarf now. Okay, sweet. We get rid of this thing's boots, I assume. I could teleport here, but I don't think it's worth it. He can Nasty Plot, and then I'll just teleport out, and then he either kills me or not, and Urshifu just comes back in. Uh, I think it is going to be a bulky Tyrantrum, so... Oh, okay, that's fine. We can just teleport out here. Because he probably bulks up or something, but then again, if we just teleport out, Urshifu gets to come in again. And we're max defense on this thing. Torn's not really getting any regen health now because we... Oh, okay, that's fine. He's still not taking a wicked blow. <coughs> but yeah, Urshifu is putting us in a really good spot here. Because every time we come in, we basically play Mikado. He probably stacks this off just because it's not doing much with Nido King or Nido Queen there, anyways. And nothing else can be sacked off besides maybe the Prim, but I think Prim is still very good. I'd rather he sacks off the Prim, but I think he stays in. Yeah. It looks like our Urshifu does about 50% to the uh, Tyrantrum, which is good to know. But also, our Nido Queen outspeeds it, so we can always go into that first against it. Alright, so I expect a knockoff here, and I won't kill this with a Wicked Blow, so I am going to switch out. The question is, into what? And I think the answer to that is Lantern, because it's not doing anything for us now with the Rocks up. He could Wish here, and that wouldn't surprise me, but I think that's okay. Yeah, I'm willing to sack that off here so nothing gets knocked off. Yeah! Because now Urshifu comes in and clicks close combat. And this thing doesn't live with close combat. And I expect Torn to come in after that, but... Well, after he sacks off, probably the Prim here. That's what I would expect. Oh, okay. Well, this thing's down, because two close combats will knock it out. He didn't get a wish off, which is nice. And yeah, I think we have enough sacks left that Urshiva can win this. Wigglytuff is nice for the... Uh, I think that's our Lickitung switch in now. Just because teleport is so nice. Because teleport basically gives us an Urshifu kill. Uh, close combat should KO, but again, that's how we lose this game is it doesn't. So I think we just go into this.
Actually, we have time. Prim Arena Max Defense. Oh, no, that's not killing. Okay. I want to do this just so we can't... Because uh... I don't think the Spectre is doing anything, basically. Yeah, I didn't want Wigglytuff taking that. Our Salak didn't activate, that's sad. And I will Shadow Ball just to force him to go into the... Uh, Lickitung. Yeah. I could have read that, but I didn't think it was worth it. I wish I had Taunt on this thing right now, but it's fine. Uh, I will Sub, just because we can. I expect a wish, honestly. Yeah, that's annoying, but again, it's not a big deal because we just click Shadow Ball over and over again now. Well, until he knocks us off, then we disable, and then we Shadow Ball. I have no idea how this works out in the end, but it doesn't really matter as long as he doesn't get a wish off to anything. Which means we always Shadow Ball whenever he uses Wish. Because now, I don't think he can hit us. And so, it's just going to be us sitting here staring at him. Yeah. We just Shadow Ball every time. Now, every, after he uses Wish, we Shadow Ball so we can't switch in. Because it should KO the Prim after Rocks. Same with the Torn. The way we lose this is if this thing knocks off our Urshifu. Don't bow code max defense like a ton. We nasty plot. And against this thing, we go into Wigglytuff and knock off. I expect it to- I think the disable ends here. Oh, it didn't. Okay. Oh, we had flamethrower. Nice. Okay. So here we go into Wigglytuff just to knock off. Because if this thing's knocked off, then Urshi is even better. Because we do need our Scarf to beat the, uh, what's it called? Torn. I could teleport because I expect him to uh, predict it, but at the same time, I think it's risk free to knock off and then teleport. Okay, sweet. That's huge. Uh, Prim could come in here, I guess. 
but we have the Nido Queen to poison jab it. The bigger issue is the Torn coming in, but I think it still goes down to a Wicked Blow. Oh, this thing? Perfect. Because we're a max speed Nido Queen. Although I don't know if we kill, now that I think about it. Because <laughs> we aren't invested. Yeah, this is getting dicey. Because I think this thing is like specs. But I also don't think Urshifu killed it with a poison jab, so I think this is still the better play. Also, he's not defensive on this thing. Uh... Oh, Wicked Blow does like... 87% to an offensive torn. Oh, he's scarfed. Oh. Good to know. Well, that might be it for us then. Because I doubt this thing gets killed by a poison jab. Uh, Poison Jab does probably pick up the KO here. And uh, we're going to have to bet on that. It does 82 min. Uh, if we don't kill, then the game's over. But if, if he's fast and offensive like he looks to be. Okay. He'll take rocks damage now. And I think two poison jabs should knock this thing out as well. But now he gets to wish up. The good news is Wigglytuff should get its Citrus Berry on Switch in, but I think he has this. Although he doesn't go for the knockoff here. And we can Poison Jab into Poison Jab and that might KO. Ah, it's all about if he knocks off or if he wishes. Okay, we are in Citrus range. Okay, he did. Okay, good thing we switched. I don't know what to click here. Oh wait, he only has six seconds left on the clock. I think he's going to time. Oh no, if he goes, if he times out, I feel real bad. Oh yeah, he didn't switch out. I don't think he can kill me in four seconds. I think he's about to time out. I'd hate for it to end that way, too, because this is such an intense endgame. Yeah, it's over for him. Oh, I feel really bad about that. Because, yeah, this is his last turn. Oh, Sven, I'm so sorry. Well, we're in the finals. Uh, not the way I expected it to go.
And uh, I say we take those, but it's really disappointing. Because, uh, yeah, this was going to come down to a couple of plays where it really was either way. Oh, let me stop this recording. Sorry. Whoops. Uh, well, we're in finals. Uh, I know who we're going up against. But, uh, yeah, this is a really disappointing way to end up in finals is by timer. I mean, uh, as the kids say, we take those. But it's been two really, uh, by my standards, underwhelming playoff games. <laughs> with the last one being just cheese with Corviknight and this one going to timer. But uh, hopefully the championship is... Uh, the battle that uh, we're looking for. So uh, I'll see you guys next week.